Hey everyone, today I'm at the Microsoft launch event here in Singapore. They are launching the Surface Book 2, the Surface Laptop and the Surface Studio. So my friends and I, Michael, MyFlyer and Jerry, they are here to test out the new products. So this is the Surface Book 2. This is the 15 inch model. The design is fantastic, it's very beautiful. It's a very minimalist design. The surface is matte, it's nice to touch the keyboard. It has nice travel. Let's take a look at the ports on the side. On the left side, we have two USB Type A ports and one SD card reader. On the other side, we have one USB Type C port, and the other port on the right side is the power port. They are still using the old charging cable from the previous service products. So the highlight of this product is its ability to basically detach the screen. To detach the screen, you just have to press this button here and it should turn green and you may hear a click sound and you are ready to detach. And it leaves just uh, right off. There are actually strong magnets at the bottom here and also here, so when you put the tablet back onto the keyboard area, it will snap back into place. The build quality of this tablet is very solid and the keyboard section it is very solid as well. Now to attach these two together, you just have to put it back like this and it will automatically attach together. It has a nice weight to it, it's not too heavy. I think it's about 2 kg if I'm not wrong. So it's about the typical weight of 15 inch laptops. And the overall build quality is very solid. The edges are rounded off. I think if you are paying several thousand dollars for a computer like this, it needs to feel solid and it does. So let's try to draw something on the tablet. All right, this is MidiBand Paint Pro. Let's try to draw some very thin lines. I'm gonna draw the lines very slowly to see if there's any jitter. Performance is actually very similar to the Surface Pro 2017. The pen is actually very sensitive. And the lines, they are very smooth. So there's none of those angular jitter at the curves here. And the transition between the thin and thick is also quite smooth. Parallax is almost non-existent because the glass is actually very close to the screen. Now the surface pen, uh, this particular surface pen is using the felt tip nib so it has quite a good amount of friction on this glass surface. It's not slippery at all so I have a lot of control over the pen. Let's take a look at the differences between the size of the 13.5 inch and the 15 inch. The difference is actually not very significant. This is the 28 inch Surface Studio but unfortunately we do not have time to test it out. The hinge behind is really impressive, this hinge. You can use one hand to set it down like this. And you can use one finger or one hand to lift up the screen. That is one impressive hinge. I'm back at home. We did not have a lot of time to test out all the other products so we only focused on the Surface Book 2. From my first impression, it's a very well built product. It feels very premium and um, overall it just looks great. It feels fantastic uh, when using it. I wasn't able to test out a lot of things though. For example, um, battery life because um, we were there only for a short time. Now the battery life is supposedly about five hours for the tablet and a total of 17 hours when you combine the tablet with the keyboard. So um, that sounds to be a bit too um, 
far-fetched so um, if I can get a review unit I will definitely test out the battery life as well as the actual performance the 15 inch model it uses a quad-core processor and it has a dedicated um, GPU graphics card so I really want to test out to see how good it is when it comes to um, using it for media creation like photo editing, video editing, working with multi layered Photoshop files and just how well it runs all the different graphic softwares um, the different drawing softwares um, like Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint Pro, Medibank Paint Pro and all the other drawing apps but overall I'm quite impressed now it is definitely a pricey product but I think that if you are in the market looking for a laptop this can be something that you might want to consider now the drawing performance with the Surface Pen it is almost similar to the Surface Pro 2017 so um, the performance has increased significantly over the previous generation the issue with the diagonal wobbly lines is very minimal to the extent that it's very difficult to notice so that is good improvement so if you want to see my detailed reviews of the various surface products leave me a comment in the comment section below so that when i borrow stuff from microsoft i can tell them hey there are so many people who want to see those reviews so that's all for this quick impressions video i hope this is helpful in some way thanks for watching see you in the next video bye